Hey everyone, Sean here with a uh, quick update on the Project Pico. This is a 2.6 gallon Fluval Spec 3 and we are on day 37 since uh, the tank was set up. And um, I have a water test done. Looks like it's going to be time for a water change. Um, pH is sitting at about 8.4. pH is looking healthy. I hate the bottles. Ammonia is sitting at zero. Looking good. Nitrite. Nitrite is sitting at zero. Nitrate to me looks to be about anywhere in the 10 to 20 ppm range. Probably about 20. So I'm going to do a uh, two water bottle water change tomorrow or later today, I should say. So I've been getting um, algae bloom on this tank on a regular basis as you can see uh, there's some residents in the tank there's a bristle worm just hangs out there underneath that rock a couple of Mexican turbo snails I've got at least three there right now I've got some astrea snails there's one and there's one on top of the rock. And I've also got some Nosario snails. I believe there's an antenna sticking up right there in the back. And of course we have uh, sexy shrimp all over. We, there's sex, sexy shrimp all throughout the tank. We've got seven total running around. I had eight at one point, but one went missing. I'm not sure if he became food for uh, the coral banded shrimp or just perished, but we definitely have seven. So there's one hanging out on the coral there. I don't know if you guys can see that. There's a few hanging out in the rocks. I've kind of seven in the last few months. Um, I, as you can see, I have the skimmer from in tank set up. I also have the uh, in tank shelf, and you can see there is a um, I've got a starfish sitting inside the in tank. It actually made its own way up there. Um, I'm not even sure if it's alive or not. I think it climbed up there for some food. And actually the water level may have dropped below the filter, so it probably uh, dried out. I'm not 100% sure yet. So, that's basically it. do a quick walk over to my next project uh, that I just picked up this is going to be another project nano that I'm working on but this one's going to be slightly different so right now I've got a 10 gallon uh, marine land that I took the hood off of and I put the uh, Kessel A80 on top I've got the marine land um, power wheel uh, 70 that came with the tank and I've got um, a pair of marine clowns uh, they're juvenile I've got a blue uh, damsel and a yellow tail damsel along um, with a um, 
Crow Bandit shrimp, white body. And there's a crab in here too. You can see his legs. He's in here mainly to catch um, bristle worms. I've also got some Mexican turbo snails, as you can see. I believe one of them gave birth in here because I've been seeing some small snails um, from time to time. I haven't seen one recently, but uh, so my plan here, let me go ahead and give it some color, is to actually transition some of the fish over to this rimless uh, 10.7 gallon tank. Um, as you can see, I have a HOB. Um, it's a Finex HOB a refugium. It's got a uh, pump that attaches to the wall of uh, the tank. And I've got some clips here that will uh, give me um, positioning to set a lid down. So once I have everything in place, I'll be setting up a lid. Uh, the Kessel A80 will be moving over here. Um, I'll be starting off with new sand, uh, but I'll be moving at least two of the pieces of live rock from this tank over uh, to this new one. And um, we'll go from there. So this marine land will probably get the factory hood put back on it. And um, thinking about maybe giving my mom a gift of a saltwater tank with uh, maybe a pair of maroon clowns. So uh, we'll see. See where it goes. So I've got black um, sand in this one. I don't really dig it too much. So I'm definitely going to go with um, probably not black sand. Probably something uh, a little bit lighter uh, for this tank here. So I'll be giving up um, or doing some uh, documentation of the video. Um, documenting the progress of this project once I get started. I'm also thinking about maybe using the AquaClear. I've got an AquaClear uh, 50 right now, but I'm thinking about returning it for a 70 and then getting the in-tank shell for it. But I haven't 100% um, decided on that yet. And because um, I kind of want to put the heater in the AquaClear to kind of hide as much as possible so um, the tank looks as clean as possible. So it's either going to be the Finex hang on back um, or a uh, Fluval, um, probably to 70 uh, AquaClear. So next I'll um, give an update on Project Nano, uh, but that's just the update on Project Pico. Thank you for watching my video.